I've been, I've been getting cut off from a lot of my peers and football friends and family lately. They don't like what I'm bringing out. Yeah. This Bible said in my house, but it was skipped over and it wasn't never opened in my house. They went straight to the Quran. Right. They started teaching me the religion of Islam and everything, and I got caught up and lost in that. But it ain't never bring me to this light that I'm right. Right. Down, brother. Right. It's, the only, it's the only thing that I read that taught me about who I was. Yes. So my son, because I got married in Islam, so, 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 so his mother is a Muslim. Now I'm in his truth, and I'm trying to give it to my son. You know, she keeps my son away from me a little bit. Yeah, she see how hard I strive in this truth now. Right. So now it's hard. It's going to be hard for me to get my son this word and put him under the light of the most high because she tries. It's, it's right, like. Bro. I already know, bro. I'm going to be saying the same it's, thing, it's, man. It's hurting me. I, right. Right. I got the spirit to come down here today. I turned on the video on YouTube where a brother was teaching and he said, you going, you, you, what do you do behind your ex? You just can't be out here saying you're an Israelite. And you know this and you know this. You can it's good that you believe and you're coming into the truth. That you know. What are you doing yeah. behind your ex right. now once you get a stern like a stern hold on your two feet and these yeah. truths? So right. I got on the train, brother, and I opened up this book and I started giving out the truth oh, that I know. Please. And the oh, most high just had the spirit on me to just give out what I knew. And right. then when I got off the train, I was about to sit down and read the book to myself and I seen you, brother, oh, over here. Oh, oh, here I go. Hey, oh, Five and twenty in the GNT, sir. If these people are now sinning against their God, right? If we're sinning against our God, even unknowingly, right? If they is pork in our food, right? If we don't know, I mean, that we were supposed to keep the Sabbath. If we didn't know that sleeping with another man's wife was adultery, even if we didn't know this and we sinned against God, what? And if we can be sure that they are guilty. Of these offenses, right? If these nations can be sure that you Negroes and Latinos are guilty of sin, what we can successfully attack them, right? That's why the white man successfully colonized you Negroes and Latinos because we were in sin, man. If we wasn't in sin, but but if they have not disobeyed the law of their God, but if we don't disobey the Most High, then you should leave them alone. These nations know who we are, man. They put, the, they put these abominations in our face, man, and they make us think that these are good things, right? Like shrimp, crab, and lobster is some gourmet meal, mm. right? Pork is a thing, right? Mm. They put these in our face, and they do it, right, eating these bloody steaks, thinking that this is the standard of the earth. Right. They got the white man making the standard of the earth, man. When blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we are the superior race. We dominate in everything we touch, man. Right. Right, keep going? Or he will defend them and we will be disgraced right. for the whole world. So if we kept the commandments, they're going to say, leave them alone. If not, God is going to defend us, man. Right. And disgrace these nations in front of everybody. Right. Yeah, I mean, this is why they got all these abominations in our food. That's why they got Planned Parenthood in our community. Right? Let me get... Let me get... Amos 3 and 3. Yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, this... It's important, man, that we understand the Most High God, man. It's important that we surround ourselves with those that know the Most High, that fear the Most High. Right. right? You know what I mean, go ahead. It's Amos three and three. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Because how can we walk together unless we agree? How can I say I'm gonna go do this and you gonna do that and we walk together? We walk separate, right? Can two walk together unless they agree? Is more on that? No. Let me get Second Corinthians six and fourteen. NLT. So it's important that we dwell in the midst of those people that we can agree with. And the only thing we can agree with is that we got to keep these commandments, right? It's, it's brothers that keep a Friday, Saturday, Sabbath. You know what I mean, we keep a lunar Sabbath. But we agree that we got to keep the Sabbath, and that's the law, exactly. right? You know what I mean, we agree that black, Spanish, Native Indians are the Israelites. Yes. We agree that we got to repent and turn back to the Most High and keep yeah. these commandments. And we agree that we got to come to these highways and byways and show that our people their transgressions, right? It don't matter about none of that. We put doctrine to the side, man. Go out there, gird up your loins, and be a soldier for the most right. high. This is what we respect, and this is who we should be dwelling with. Keep going. 
Six and 14, and on two. The second Corinthians, six and 14 in the NLT. Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. Right, because my wife was out last night, right? And she had a big thing going on with a bunch of unbelievers, right? And we wonder why she come home with these demons on and now me and her going through it because she was going through it with somebody else, right? These demons got jumped on to her, man. Right, Bob, say, read that again. Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. We can't team up. We can't walk together with these unbelievers. All we could do is show you, plant a seed. If you don't want to talk in, if you don't want that seed to get water, then I got to keep moving. If you don't want to talk about this, man, ain't nothing to talk about, man. Right? I don't want to talk about the boxing. We could talk about it. We could watch I it. I can't hold a 10-minute conversation without the most high. Yeah, it's right. always going to be about the most high, man. It's going to be about how special and how beautiful our people is, how talented our people, and how the most high created us this way. And then he got his ass whipped because he in Islam by a white man. You know what I mean? And we just start seeing it all we start seeing You know what I mean? We be seeing it. Like he got his ass about white man. I mean, knowing that he better than that man, but it's because he's serving a God that it's going to profit him. Right. right? Go ahead. Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. Right. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can righteousness partner with these wickedness? I don't want to be around weed smoking, cigarettes right. smoking, right. right? Bulls looking at these girls with their tight dresses on. We need to tell them to cover up, man. I, you, ain't nobody going to eat a candy that's unwrapped. Right. You find a piece of candy or you get you see some candy at the store, you ain't going to buy the one that's unwrapped. But y'all, our people want to go with these women that's unwrapped. Right. Right. Who belongs to everybody. Right. But we shouldn't be doing that to our woman. We should be, the, the parents should be raising these daughters to grow up and understand who you want to deal with. Right. right. And that man that you lay with is the man that you stay with. Right? Don't give this precious thing to everybody because you're too precious to belong to the community. Right? Right? And all right. women think that that's the way to be, man. Right? Go ahead. How can light live with darkness? How can light live with darkness? Like she was in, she was at the chill, she was chilling with them, right? And she's shining her light, right? But the darkness ain't like that. What's gonna happen is yeah. demons gonna start showing, right? Because you can't talk about God around these dark people, man. Yeah, right, because hair. it's too much they light. It's too, they like this. We they don't like to hear about your God. They, they you know what I mean? Yeah. It right. Going against their whole lifestyle <laughs> and the way that they want to profit and, and build their legacy off sin. Right. Yeah. They they, that. think it's going to stand, right? Stand. It's going to yeah. fall, man. Going to fall. Without going the going most house going to fall and all these nations going to fall, they every heathen right on this earth going to fall and they're going to be subjugated unto the Israelites. Right. right. And they're going to have to serve the most high. They're going to have to battle our feet and serve us. And, and if not, they're going to perish, man. Right, yeah? right. What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? Right, what harmony is with Christ? Because we want, we are the body of Christ. Right. Right, so how can we be in harmony with these devils and these demons, man? We can't, man. We got to separate ourselves. That's what holy means, man. Right. To be separate. Right, keep going. It says, how can a believer... Be a partner with an unbeliever. How can we partner with these people? Keep going. And what union can there be between God, temple, and idols? Oh, what union between God's temples, God's temple, and idols, man? Right? I ain't trying to see your Buddha. I ain't trying to see your, your Kaaba stone, man. I ain't trying to see your white Jesus. Man. Right. Like, that's an idol, man. Right, and that's around us. We want to smash these things. Right? right. We want to take a baseball bat, right, and, and swing that thing all around the house, man. That's right. Right, because these are idols, and most high commanded us to not follow after these ways, man. That's right. Right, and then we dwelling with them, and we with them. That's what we doing. We learning their ways. We learning how they live, man. I don't care about how they live. I'm trying to live like the prophets of old, man. Right. right keep going. Right. It says. For we are the temple of the living God. We are the temple of the living God. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians that's keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments and having faith in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, we are the temple of God. Right. We can't defile this temple, man. We can't defile this temple by being around idols, by being around weed smokers and cigarette smokers. Right? This times it's times that we be among these sinners. Yeah, you know I mean, but we among these sinners, man, you see the you gonna listen or you ain't gonna want me around. Right. Right. right? Because that's what's, what's happening. You call you call me, you know what's coming. Well, that's right. right. I've, been, I've been getting cut off from a lot of my parents and so-called friends and family lately. They don't like what I'm bringing out. Yeah. Man. See, because we was in the same, bro. When I was in the Islam, I couldn't find them answers, I bro. I couldn't find them answers. I couldn't find you. 
Right. I could what find I'm living, me. Right. Right, and I bro. family, I show you you in this thing, man. Right. I can I, show you you. Can you show man. me me in right. there. Right. This is you. The proof of me is yes. right in there. Oh, praise God. Right. Go ahead, man. But that's the God said that's what's going to happen to His children, man. Right. This 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 Bible said in my house, but it was skipped over and it wasn't never opened in my house. They went straight to the Quran. Right. And started teaching me the religion of Islam and everything, and I got caught up and lost in that. But it ain't never bring me to this light that I'm right. Because right. the Quran tell you it that is, the covenant is. was made with Israel. The Quran tell you that the prophethood was given to Israel. The covenant, the Quran tell you, you got to go to the book before it. Right. right. So why are you going to the middle man? That's what all people do. They they don't want to go to the middle man on the block. <laughs> right. right. When it comes to the drugs, they want the direct connect. Right. But when it comes to what they believe in, they don't know what they believe in. So they got to go through this source and that source to try to find it. When it's we out here, man, we out here giving this truth, right? Like they think this prosperity being a drug dealer, being a killer, you know what I mean? Like I was, tell, I was telling my mother a couple weeks ago, I ain't I ain't never even heard of the commandments until I opened this book. And then she like, oh that's all in Deuteronomy. Like where was these teachings at when I was a kid? Because you skipped over that and put me straight in the Sister Claire Muhammad. They ain't tell me nothing yeah, about the Torah. I was in the same jail on Sister Claire. Right. <laughs> they, they ain't tell me nothing about this. So had me coming up learning all that women yeah, in the bro. wrong ways. But yeah. you knew about some of this truth. I mean, but I ain't know about no commandments, not even the right. Ten Commandments that everybody that, that's right. supposed to be worldwide knowing that we're supposed to know about. Right. Now I'm learning that it's over 600 commandments. Right. And how is that our God if we're worshiping that and we're still filling up the prison houses? Right. 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 If Muslims right. killing Muslims. Right. right. If they're sharing their woman. Right. Because because there's a thing. Right. And that's what I mean. And I'm going to know. Right. And that word. Right. Is this is the only truth, man. Right? This is the this is the flow of living waters, man. right? Right. We can go as deep as we can get with this thing, man. right? And the Quran, you got to stop, right? You got to stop talking about. It. They don't want to talk about it no more, that, right? That has the Quran doesn't even have the ability to put a spirit on certain brothers to even remember anything in the book. Every time we ask them anything about their religion, they can't tell us nothing. They just want to speak Arabic. And then we ask them, what did crazy. you say? And they don't know what they said. And then I say, if we, if I spoke to you in Spanish, would that sound, would that, does that mean I'm educated and I just spoke a bunch of Spanish? <laughs> right? All you're doing is speaking Arabic. You're not Arabic, bro. Right? But our people want to follow the ways of the heathen, man, instead of following their true way. Because for real, all that is is a copycat of this book. That's all yeah, it is. That's all it is. It's, it's reciting. Right? So if I... Remember in school we had the phone game and I said something to you and he passed it down right, and, by the, and by the time it came back over here, it wasn't the totally same. Different. It was totally right. different. Right? That's right. why we go in there and they say it's reciting this, but that contradicts this. Right. Right? right. It said the prophethood was given to Israel, but somehow uh, Ishmael light is a prophet? No. They, they say it's given to all people, but they only mention him in the book. He's the last prophet. He's the last prophet, but every nation has their own prophet. It's it don't make sense. It don't make sense, bro. Right? And all we got to do is read it. Right? But our people don't agree. All they want is what sweet words, sounds good, he's all forgiving and all loving, but there's a judgment there. Why are you getting judged if he's all living, all loving and all forgiving? Right. When you, look, when you start to learn the true knowledge, you start to learn that the things you're being taught in America don't even make sense. Makes like, sense. Like the term African American, like none of it really makes, makes sense. That's two different continents. Right. How can you be from two people. different continents? And then you say you're from Africa, there's 54 countries in Africa. So where in Africa are you from? Because the East Indians, so everybody damn near from Africa. Like I just learned like how you call yourself an Ashkenazi Jew. Well, that's like two two different nations. Yeah. They, they just combining them and putting them together. And, like, and our women look way better than these unseasoned chicken wings. Right. These unseasoned chicken wings can't stand in the sun, man. But our women got flavor, man. Right. right? And these unseasoned chicken wings going to get deep fried, right? Right. Keep going on that. <laughs> Bunch of ancestrials. Go ahead. What, first, first, second Corinthians six, and I think you add sixteen again. This is Second Corinthians six and sixteen. Right. It says, "In what you, in what union can there be between God's temple and idols?" Right. What union can there be between God's temple and the cobblestone? Right? There's no union between that. That's why the Quran tells you that you got to kill the Jews. Right? You got to kill the Christians, right? That's what it say, right? It's, the Quran says you got to kill the Jews, right? No? It say kill the unbelievers. I can show you. Come on, man. How I know more than you, man? She don't know her scripture. How I know more than you, man? I pulled that thing out. I got it right here, man. I got it under my toilet paper. Go ahead. <laughs> it says don't be alliance with the neighbor. Yeah. But yet, they have to go to our book for understanding. Yeah. Sense of a fucking contradiction. Yeah. It don't even make no sense. 
Right? They beat their women, man. We love our women. Right. Women, man. Go ahead. And it says, between God's temple and idols. For right. we are the temple up, of the king? living God. All praise to the most high, man. What's up with you, King? Hey, King. All What's praise. Going on, King? I feel like I've seen you before. Okay. You know what we're doing out here? Y'all, you know what's going on? All praise. Let's take a fly from my mans over here if you don't mind, man. Check us out, man. I love you, bro. You be safe, man. I'm safe out here, man. All praise to the most high. Go ahead. For we are the temple of the living God. We are the temple of God. Keep going. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. Right? He's talking about the Israelites. He's going to live with us and walk among us, right? Because he's in the midst of Israel. Right. He's the Lord our God and none else. And his people ain't never going to be ashamed to come out here and bring out his words. Right. It don't matter how many crowds come around us and want to fight and want to shoot and all that. We got angels in camp. The most I said angels camping around those who fail. Right. Right. The whole army came to Elisha and his servant. And the, and his servant was like, yo, there's more of them than us. He said, no, there's more of us than them. Yeah. And he opened the brother's God. eyes. And he seen chariots all over the place. Right. Right, those are angels of the Most High, man. We strongly believe that the Most High with us, man. Right. right. Because we keep his commandments and we obey his voice. Right. right. This is the only way we can get a hedge of protection. It's the only way you can guarantee your children's life, man. Right. Right. Because your children, your gun, right, your police in your community, right, your dad and your your uncle ain't going to be able to save your kids from these straight bullets in Philly, man. That's right. Right. Our kids are dying. Our women are dying. They running down. And our woman now sitting in the car and letting off a whole clip on our woman. It's crazy out here, man. But it's all prophesied it was going to be like that. All right, keep going. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Right. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers. Right, we got to come out from among these unbelievers, man. Right. Uh, uh, we we got to understand what we believe in. Right. If we say we believe in this, what do you believe about it? Right. Right. What do you know about it? Why do you believe it? Right. I. Uh, I was out here yesterday with my beloved House of Israel brothers, right? And there was a sister who said she believed in the Bible. And then I, so I gave her a little breakdown. And all of a sudden, she said that she don't believe in the Bible. Why? Because I went into it and showed the things that was in there, man. Right. It's, it's, the, it's the only thing that I read that taught me about who I was. Yes. That's Yo, and that's, that's his thing. I, that's his thing. That was, see, because we was in the same, bro. When I was in the Islam, I couldn't find them answers, bro. I couldn't find them answers. I couldn't find you. Right. I couldn't what find living? me. Right. Exactly right, and I family, I show you you in this thing, man. Right. I can show you you. Can show you, me, me. In right. This is you. The proof of me is yes. right in there. Oh, praise right. God. Go ahead. And separate yourselves from them, right. says the Lord. Don't touch their filthy things. Right. Fuck their Hennessy bottles, right? Fuck their platters. Fuck all that shit, man. Don't touch these filthy things. Keep right. Going. And I will come to you, and I will be your father, and you will be my son and daughters. That's the Lord Almighty. All right, oh, praise to the Most High. That's what we got to do, man. We got to separate ourselves from this world. Let me get James 4 and 4. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man, it's time to wake up. We in these last days, man. Right? Ain't much time left. Your time, your window of opportunity to repent is closing. And if you wait until this Jacob trouble come, if you wait until the stamina of the word come, it's going to be too late, man. It's going to be too late for you. It's going to be too late for your little children, man. So it's time that you start studying, King. Start getting to understand what's being taught, what's being prophesied, man. Because this Bible is true, man. Yeah, we gotta study. If you, but the Bible says to grow your beard out, King. Y'all grow your, grow your beard. That's a commandment, King. You know, Wear some fringes. For my son, because I got married in Islam, so 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 his mother is a Muslim. Now I'm in his truth, and I'm trying to give it to my son. You know, she keeps my son away from me a little bit. Yeah, you see bro, how hard I strive in this truth now? Right. So now it's hard. It's going to be hard for me to get my son this word and put him under the light of the Most High because she tries. It's, it, it's right, like. Bro. I already know, bro. I'm going to be saying the same thing, man. It's hurting me. I, right. Uh, just, just I got some comfort me. for you. The uh, Most High, man, he going to comfort you, man. Yeah, I mean, I understand the things that we go through, but I, I got you. Finish this up. It's, that, it's James 4-4 now. Ye adulterers, don't you realize that friendship with the world makes you an enemy with of God? Right, so being a friend of this world, being celebrating these Thanksgivings and these New Years and Fourth of July's when we should be keeping the Passover, the Feast of Dedication, right? All praise to the Most High, keep going. I say it again, if you want to be a friend of the world, 
you make yourself an enemy of God. And that's why we got to separate ourselves. And, and you did that. And guess what? You became an enemy to the world, but you became God. a friend of God. Right. Right. Well, yeah. I love Yo, I love you, sis. Can we can we see that? Can I see that? Open it right here. Open it right here. In front of her. Oh, praise to the most high. That is beautiful, sister. Oh, praise the sister. I love you, sis. Yo, we out here Sundays at 2 o'clock, about 5. Something in your spirit, you got a flyer? Please check us out. Call us, anything. You got any questions, sis? I love you. Oh, oh praise to the most high. Praise. Oh, praise, praise. the most high. <laughs> yes, oh, praise. Yeah, I don't want to. She got the tick. Yeah, hey, hey. Don't yeah, in the car, Bubba Kishaw. All praise to the most high. Bubba Kishaw, can you put that in my van, brother, bro? I, I appreciate you, King. All right, let's go to Luke 21 and 16 in the NLT. All praise to the most high. I love your zeal, sis. Now, everybody want to stand here and listen to the word. I, I see, and all praise to the Most High that He put that in your spirit. That's right. This is Luke 21 and 16 in the NLT. Even those closest to you. Right, our wives, our parents, our cousins and uncles, even those closest to you. Your parents, brothers, relatives, and friends will betray you. And not only did your wife betray, your ex wife betray you, but she's betraying her son, your, your child, by not allowing him to have that connection. Right? And then what they doing? Having a see other men and, and getting raised by when when you a godly man you fear god right right what greater thing is that mm. right what greater thing is that to teach your child when you say you believe in the god of abraham isaac and jacob right right they claim they right. do right, it's, right. If, if it's the same god then let's get to know about him because you got to find them in the torah and the prophets right not in the quran right you teach him run around the the the, the, the praise the the, 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 the thinking he an error yeah, yeah. I'm showing you proofs and things that that these people in this book look like you. Sir. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's him, man. He that's him in the regeneration. I'm to show him who he is in yep. this book. This right. book helped me find me, son. That's right. The truth for me that's and right. our heritage, our real culture and stuff. All these ones we adopt, we right. adopt the wrong things out here. But somehow this corrupt. This right. When it never contradicted itself no. throughout the totality no. of every author that wrote this thing. Right. Go ahead says they will even kill some of they gonna kill some of us man guess what they gonna call the police right they're gonna be like they're they're the they're the terrorists right because they got us on the terrorist watch list and we ain't hurt nobody king right I mean, boy smacked my phone i punched him in the face but that's the most we did right right yeah you know i mean we didn't do nothing else to nobody we're not hunting down them like how they hunt us right right keep going and everyone will hate you because you are my follower right. that's why they hate us man because we really follow man Right, he think that he he better than no. I'm just better than what I was yesterday. Right, right that's all that I am. Right with their spirit. Yeah, right. man, and, and it, we start bringing that out of them. Yeah, you know I mean, we start showing who, what's really inside of them because it ain't the spirit of the Lord, man. Right, let me get First John three and thirteen. And the only way we can get the spirit of the Lord is by obedience, right? And our people don't be they they the Quran tell you you can eat pork if you're forced to. Do. Yeah, right, yeah, but yeah. the Bible say don't eat pork even into death, yeah, man. Right. Because they can take our body, but the Most High can take our body and our spirit. Right. Man. My, gra my grandpa was on this dove bed. You know the, the the heart valve that they put in you contain pork. My grandpa said, I don't want that. I mean, cause my grandpa, when I started to go in his house and acting as a kid, my grandpa used to always take. He tried to get me from my mom and my dad when I was younger. Like, let me get going. Cause y'all ain't gonna know what to do with him. I mean, so when I walked to his house as a teenager and I saw the Ten Commandments and everything hanging up oh. on every door in the house and, and all these oh, things, how he studied the Bible, I started, I, started to learn, I started to see his Bibles all around the house and all the, the highlighted scriptures and everything, and I just started to go through them. So I first started to get to understand him through the Most High, how he, he brought my grandpa into my life. And he's oh, and, 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 I started I to get a better understanding. Oh, I, got I, I, I got the spirit to come down here today. I turned on a video on YouTube where a brother was teaching, and he said, "You going? You, you, what do you do behind your ex? You just can't be out here saying you're an Israelite." 
and you know this and you know this. You can it's good that you believe and you're coming into the truth. That you know. What are you doing yeah. behind your ex right. now once you get a stern like a stern hold on your two feet in these yeah. truths? So I got on the train, brother, and I opened up this book and I started giving out the truth oh, that I know. And the oh, most high just had the spirit on me to just give out what I knew. And right. then when I got off the train, I was about to sit down and read the book to myself and I seen you, brother, oh, over here. Oh, and praise, I said, here I go. Oh, it's come in, King. It brought me home, brother. Oh, that's right. It brought me home, brother. Right, brother. Yeah, right. like, I love you, brother, man. You, brother, man. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. All praises, man. This is real. The most high God is right. real, man. It's the realest thing right. I've ever had in my life. We got, this is the only thing we got that the white man ain't give us. Right. This right. wisdom and understanding, the only thing that we got that nobody gave us but the most high, man. Right. Right. And we're going to take this and we're going to run with it. And then we're right. going to run with this earth, man. Once we collect this 144,000, man. I right. never felt this spirit that the most high put it's on fire. me right now. I... It's fire in the spirit, man. Like, I used to love dr selling drugs on the corner. I love this more than I ever loved that. Right! I ever loved that. I'll right. tell them to their face, man. Right. right that you ain't got nothing but death in jail, man. And your kid's gonna be raised by another man. Probably by a white man. Right? Because they really, it's the white man raising you with these, with, with, with the welfare, with, with the Section 8 housing, right? Because... There's no father in the house, so now they're giving you yep. these benefits. Depending on that right. sister. Yeah. Yep. You're shunning your brother and being dependent on that sister. And guess yep. where they children ending up? In the prison. Prison. Right? Uh -huh. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, but they don't want daddy to raise them, though. It writes Right. They'd rather the white man right. raise them. They'd rather the prison system raise them. Right. Teach them something totally different. And we trying to fight around, for ours, man. Not even right. around all these women, but you want to keep them away from the man that's trying to strive in the righteous right. way. Right. The way your house shot. Right. Oh, praise the Lord. So right. I feel your spirit, King. Ah, it's Bring crazy, that out. First John. John 3 and 13. First John 3 and 13. KJV. KJV. First John 3 and 13. Marvel not. Don't be surprised, right? My brethren. If the world hates you, don't, don't be surprised if this world hate us, right? Go ahead. We know that we have passed from death unto life. We passed from death. You passed from death into life, man. Right? Because ain't nothing but prisons where these Muslims at, bro. And in the and in the graves, in the graveyard, man. Right? You came into life, man. You came into this everlasting flow of living waters, man. Seeking inheritance in the kingdom. Yeah, I mean. Right. Go ahead. Because we love. The brethren. Because we love the brethren. You came over here, you stopped, and you said, I'm going to stand here and listen to these brothers. Right. You went where the Spirit led you, man. And right. you knew where your brothers was, man. You heard them. Right? right? Keep going. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Right? And they even, that's your sister. Right? That's your wife. But in reality, that, we right. sisters. Right. We're brothers, man. Right. And they hate that's you, man. Flesh. Right. Right? And she hates you. And she abideth in death, man. Right, but she's supposed to be serving something all loving and all forgiving, but right. she can't be all loving and all forgiving. Right. right. Right, keep going. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Uh -huh. And ye know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. There's no eternal life, but you're trying to give your son eternal life, man. Mm -hmm. But they just can't see it because their eyes is closed and they can't hear it because the most high shut their ears, man. Right. You know what I mean? But we we need to pray for you, Ken. Right, God. Uh, we need to pray for you, Ken. Uh, Keep going. It says, "Hereby perceive we the love of God, because He laid down His life for us, right? And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Right. We lay down our lives for the brethren, because we come out here in the face of our enemies, man. We come out here in the face of those who hate us, because they hate God." So they hate us, man. And we lay down our lives to bring out this truth, man. To water these seeds, to plant these seeds. And Lord willing, we could build a bond with our brothers, man. Lord willing, we could get our brothers to dwell continually with a godly man. Keep these holy days with us, man. Keep these commandments. Learn wisdom and understand it. Where are not our brothers for our brothers doorstep, man? I mean, this is what this is all about, being a servant and a slave to all people, man. We ain't no leaders out here. There ain't nobody that's lording it. No, we can't lord it, or lord it over our people. I'm not better than you, King. Ain't none of these. I'm not better than none of my brothers out here, man. But I'm better than the heat. Sure right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure but we got to do better, man, as, a, as an individual, as a people. Right? Yeah. Let me get yeah. Matthew 10 35. NLT. And we lay, we lay down our lives for our brethren, man. Because we really love our people. And the way we show we love our people was by not looking at his wife, by not stealing from him, by not killing him, right? Yeah, you know I mean, if he needs something, we there from not putting usury on him. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, this is how we love our people, man. 
but everybody got their own way of loving because if you look at the way people were seen as love, oh, they disrespected you. My man disrespected you. I love you, so I'm going to kill him. And he looked like you. Crazy. That's how they think that what they think what love is, man. Just read that verse with the evil eye towards each other. The, the evil eye, man. This is all these curses, man. And we ain't going to escape it, man. But you, you got a head start, man, because this world, man, they going away backwards, man. It's a cold crowd walking this way, and you walking through the crowd this way, man. Yeah. Right. And it's lovely. The power of the Lord is just let that light shine in this dark right. world. Right. Man. Right. Right. Bring it out. This is Matthew ten and thirty five in the NLT. I have come to set a man against his father. Right, so Christ came to set a man against his father. Keep going. A daughter against her mother. Somehow Christ loves everybody. Somehow Christ coming to save everybody. When according to the Bible, he's coming to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother. And a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Your enemies will be right in your own household. Right, our enemies in our own household, right. King. Yeah, I mean, right. it's all prophesied, but guess what? If he wasn't going through that, you wouldn't be the one that he called. Right. Because you, you're you going through the things that he said that my right. people was going to go through, man. Right. My right. followers is going to go through this. And you're going through everything he said, man. And guess what? It's only it's this furnace, man. We're going through this fire so that we can be purified, man. Right. This is what this fire looked like, and we got to endure this thing until the end. Yeah, you know I mean? Let me get... Go ahead. Bring it out. If you love your father... Or mother more than me, if we, more than you love me. Right. You are not worth worthy of being mine. Right. If we love our father and our mother more than we love the Most High, guess what? My mom was ripping my beard out. Tell me, stop being with them. Stop going out there. If if the, if that what you're teaching is real, may God strike me right now. And she was losing her breath. I thought she was about to catch a heart attack I, I, in my house. My mother claims she's a witch. So you know all that little witchcraft and stuff, ah. all that magic that you know them the wicked used to yeah. practice that we read with about. With the coconuts and all that. And she practiced all That's that with the little sounds and the mm -hmm. molds and, and then, you know I'd be walking around the house like, and it has yo, done nothing man, for us. Crazy, nothing for us. No spirit do she nothing for us. Pride, but she see how strong I am in this faith yes. now, so she backs off of me, right. but she still claims her lifestyle yeah, like she man. cleaves to yes. it. I go through the same thing, bro. Keep going. It says... 37 over. 37 over. If you love your father or mother more than you love me... Now, I love... I love my father and my mother. You know what I mean? I love them to death. But I love God more than that because only God can save me. My kid, my mother and my father can't save my kids, man. Right. 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 Only God can save them. That's why I got to right. put the most high before your birthday. I got to put the most right. high before your mother's day and your father's day. Right. Man, I, we don't care about none of that, man. None of that. And you can hate me for that, but guess what? I still love you, though. Right. Right. Keep going. Right. It, says, you are, it says, you are not worthy of being mine. Uh -huh. Or if you love your son or daughter more than me, you are not worthy of being mine. Right, because when I first came into this truth, my wife, we, I, I came in out of nowhere. He showed me a video, I was on fire. Right, I didn't want to stop. Bro, I'm, I'm in here like, yo, I want more. He like, you got to take baby steps. I'm like, fuck that, give me the plate. Give me the whole meal. <laughs> you know what I mean? He like, no, he like, no, you're going to get bugged out. Just take it slow. So, you know what I mean? My wife wanted to go and celebrate Halloween. Oh, the kids, the kids. You say don't love your son or daughter more than me. But for the kids, you was building on disobeying the most high. So the fear of God killing my kids, I went to this Halloween party with my fringes on. I hated being there, man. I seen a Jewish boy there and all that. I, I, it wasn't for me, man. Guess what? Everybody in that house called COVID. My wife came home. We brought it. We brought it back to her parents and her grandparents. Everybody in the fucking house was about to die. Oh, praise to the Most High, man. Right. And guess what? My wife became a believer, man. Because everybody Fight. was... I, I was sick, too, but guess what? I'm doing push-ups. Hype, like, yeah. Fight. I told you, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Right? <laughs> most High, he making... He, this thing's just come to pass, man. Right. Everything he said has never failed us. Right. Man. These traditions are not our traditions. Nah, man. And right. This is, this is the ways of the world. And you want to follow the world, you're going to be an enemy of God, man. Right. Let me get jo Job 11 and 20. KJ? I know. This is Job 11 and 20 in the NLT. But the wicked will be blinded. All right, that's why they blind. That's why they can't see this light, man. Mm -hmm. 
like your, your ex and your baby mom, like she she see you transformed. Mm-hmm. You don't smoke no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All the things that you used to do, you man, well, probation, cause I was in jail smoking weed and cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Right? I came man. out on probation and I'm smoking weed I going and turning in dirty. Drinking and smoking and doing yeah, what I was doing. Me too, bro. This is the only thing that stopped me. The only thing that stopped me. Guess what? Through fasting and prayer, man. That's right. the only thing that stopped me. It's the only thing that could. My mom couldn't do it, right? Selling drugs and all that, man. Nobody could change my life, man. But as soon as he showed me this, man, as soon as I opened this thing up, man, this change, I wanted to change, man. I wanted to stop this, man. When I was running around thinking I was me, but still following the ways of the Arab, I ain't want to stop doing what I was doing because it didn't sit right with me and my spirit, for real, for real. I knew I wasn't in the truth, but I just felt I wanted to force it. Wanted to force it. You was finding it. You was looking for it, man. Looking for it. You know how a lot of times our people they feel like we have this light on us and it, it exposes their darkness. So that's why they don't even want, want it. us around. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. They don't want us around, man. They faces right. start cringing up. Right. Yeah, I mean, as soon as we step in, they already mad. Right. Because we shine <laughs> with a glow. We got to smile and no, nothing can bother us. My last, my last job working this security job loved me until I put some fringes on the bottom See of that, that shirt. Wow. Then I got fired like a month later. And you can wow. got a lawsuit. As long as within two years, you can file a lawsuit because they cannot fire you due to discrimination. That's discrimination. Right. Yeah, because they, cause they say they caught me on camera sleeping from 3.30 to 6 when I know that's false accusation. Right, they got right. I'm, I'm looking at the camera, 3.37, looking at the time, 4.10, I'm wide awake. I open the gym at 5.45 before 6 o'clock, and y'all saying that I was sleeping? Wow. Crazy, y'all. I asked but them, you for, the, I, I the asked them, wow. I asked them for the cameras. All of a sudden, my supervisor like, we're going to give you the tapes. So now I'm asking her for the tapes. After about a week go by, I'm like, you going to send me the tapes, right? Then she like, leave it alone. Wow. I'm fine, right? I'm no longer collecting leave the paycheck, alone. but I gotta leave, leave it alone. Why? Wow, because you said alone. so. How about my lawyer like, ain't gonna them, leave it alone? Them behaviors ain't come. They wanna start acting like like that till they start seeing them friends. Yep. And then so the right? so-called Africans that the Most High don't deal with, and the Jewish and everything that was coming past. Looking at, they, they, bro, they, 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 they I got like, fired from. I got laid off from my job because I had friends. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Same thing, bro. It's crazy, yeah. Let me get Matthew 5 and 11. It's Matthew 5 and 11. Blessed are ye. Blessed are ye. When men shall re- revile. Salakia. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. Right, when they revile you, what else? And persecute you. Right. And blessed shall, are ye, man. Right. Blessed for that, you heard? Keep going. And shall yeah. say. All manner of evil against you falsely Falsely. for my sake. For his sake, because you want to put your fringes on. You want to obey the Most High, man. Blessed are you when they come against you. Right. You know what I mean? He he said that, man. He want to take care of that, man. He said vengeance is his. Right. You know what I mean? We ain't going to count none of our people out. Lord willing, at the last minute, you know what I mean? They going to get the same penny as us. You know what I mean? But the Most High, man, he he could do to them way more than we could do to them, man. You know what I mean? And all they doing is building up. It's like not paying the car ticket. If you don't pay that car ticket, you start building up, and all of a sudden they take your vehicle. That's right. what the most high gonna do, man. Right. You know what I mean? He's gonna take their kids from them, man. Right. The worst way of dying is by watching your child die before you, man. Right. You know what I mean? They don't they don't understand Ooh. why this is happening, man. They don't understand why we going through this. Let me get let me get Job 11 and 20 and 2 again. Oh, praise to the most high. Job 11 and 20 and NLT. But the wicked will be blinded. Right. They have no escape. Their only hope is death. That's their only hope, man. Their only hope is that they can die, man. But the Most High ain't gonna let them die, man, until they go through this famine. Right. Because the worst way to die is through starvation. And that's what's coming. You got Ukraine not bringing in the crops. You got India not bringing in the crops. India's like 40% of the world's grain producer. Ukraine is another big producer. All this, that's bread. Right? Certain part of Africa just colonized they self uh, for the US dollar in America. Everybody separated themselves from that, that line. That thing is dropped, man. That dollar is diminished, right. man. That dollar is now worth like two cents to the world or something. Right. 22 cents or something like that. Right. right, let me get Mark 13 and 12. Well, you got a precept? No, you're talking about the last day. I'll... Go ahead, bring it up. It's Matthew 19 and 18. He saith unto him, which Jesus said, Thou shalt do. Salaki. Salaki. 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's get let's get Matthew thirteen and twelve. It's Matthew thirteen and twelve. NLT. Yeah. In the NLT, to those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. Right, let me get Matt Mark 13 and 12, but that was a good precept right there, man. I mean, you want to learn, you're going to gain more wisdom and understanding. And I can tell you've been studying, man. Right. Right. Praying, praying for understanding of the scriptures that I've been reading, praying for more understanding before I pray for the wisdom, because you know I know the wisdom is going to come after the understanding. Yeah. Because you start acting on it and implementing it into your life. Come on, praise. Go ahead. This is Mark 13 and 12 in the NLT. A brother will betray his brother to death. Right, we see that everywhere, right? Go ahead. A father will betray his own child. A ch and children will rebel against their parents right. and, and, cause, and cause them to be killed. Keep going. And everyone will hate you because you are my followers. Right, everybody right. going to hate us, man, because we follow Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Because yeah. yeah. we follow the teachings of the Most High. Keep going. But. The one who endures to the end will be saved. So we got to go through all this affliction. I wish you wasn't going through this, King. I mean, I know how much we love our children. You know what I mean? And it's a blessing that we love our children because there's fathers out there that don't want to be there for them kids. But that's that's what these women glorify. That's what these women want is the, is the drug dealer, is the murderer, the one that's go back, back and forth in the prison, right? Love the sinner. Right? But a godly man that want to teach his son the way of righteousness, it's, and it's not because it's you, it's because they hate this, man. It's because they hate the most high. Let me get Psalms 27 and 10, NLT. Psalms 27 and 10 in the NLT. Even if my father and mother abandoned me. Right, even if my father and mother abandoned me, man. And this be your son too, man. Go ahead. The Lord will hold me close. The Lord gonna hold us close, man. Even if our father and our mother's abandoning us, man, the Lord gonna hold us close. I mean, as long as you keep in the law, statutes, and commandments, you can save your house, man. I mean, your son got time, man. And it's gonna be a time where he gonna have understanding. How old is your son? If you don't mind me asking. He'll be in a couple days because he was born all this night. And there's gonna be a time when he can pick up that phone and call. Yep. You know what right. I mean? There's gonna be a time for that. Right. You know what I mean? And the most I'm gonna make a way for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lord willing, man. Lord willing, we. Lord willing, man, if, if it's the Lord's will, we can help you, man. Right. You know what I mean? Let me get 1 Timothy 6 and 12, KJV. We got to put our life on the line as a living sacrifice, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm starting to understand all these trials and tribulations and calamities that I'm going through. I know it's a curse, but it's also a blessing. I just got to stand 10 toes down in this right. room. Right, because there's a, right. Word, a reward at the end of this thing, Right. Man. All right, go ahead. It's 1 Timothy 6 and 12 in NLT. KJV. Oh, it's First Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight. It's a lock it. Fight the good fight of faith. All right, this is what we got to continue, man. We got to fight this fight. This is a fight, man. It ain't easy. Anything easy ain't worth having. Man. Right. So this thing going to be hard, man. And we got to fight this good fight of faith because it's faith. I mean, we tell our women they, got, they should be submissive to us, right? But they got a problem with that. But we being submissive to something that we got faith in. Right. Like someone we don't see, man. Right. We we obey him. And right. we are submissive to him. But our woman can't be submissive to a man that's nurturing them. That's second care of them that they see and they can touch, man. That's why there was only one of a thousand men and no woman that he found righteous. Right. These women only going to be saved through childbearing, man. Keep going. Lay hold of eternal life. We're unto Thou art called right. and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Right, you, it's a good profession before the many witnesses, man. Who can do this? Nobody could have just opened up this Bible and understand this. I mean, they've been trying to do this for years, man. They've been trying to understand this. They've been trying to go to the, to the Holy Land and excavate the land and, and do find archaeological evidence to prove the history of this. And then they prove the history of this. And here you got an Edomite coming out of nowhere and say, oh, there's not enough proof here to prove the exodus from the Bible, Egypt. The Bible don't make sense in the church. I've been to the church. Yeah. I never got the understanding of the Bible never. in the church. I learned it from you, brothers. Right, God. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. It's really through the most high because he opened your eyes. He opened your ears and he led your spirit in this direction, man. Because you are his sheep, man. And the sheep hear his voice. Man. Right. So you get Matthew 19 and 29. Just makes sense. Start to 
not even make sense, bro. Matthew 19 and 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses. Everyone that have forsook their houses. Or brethren. Uh -huh. Or sister. Or father. Or mother. Or wife. Or children. Or wife or children. Or lands for my name's sake. Right. Shall receive an hundredfold. Oh, receive a hundredfold. Keep going. And shall inherit everlasting life. Keep but going. many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Man, we're going, we're going to have to forsake. That's what this mark of the beast coming, man. Right? This this digital currency is coming, man. But they're going to have us paying off of that. Right? And it's said we can't be taking it. Some some camps don't believe the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, but they understand that the RFID chip is coming. Can right. I share, can I share something with you? Yeah. This happened to me. I was locked up in 2005. I had a dream, right? When I was asleep, I was in my cell. I had a dream when I stepped out my house, my friends, my so-called peers, my, my, I, I, I seen some of my family members, they all had, somebody had a robotic eye, somebody had like a robotic hand, somebody had like a robotic leg, and it was, they had flesh, and then they had robotic, like certain parts of their body was like robotic, right. and, then, and, and then I turned on the TV, I was watching the news, and it, 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 on YouTube, and it, and it was talking about AI, artificial intelligence, oh, and it wow. just, just just about the, uh, the the robots and how how people getting chipped and going shopping and yeah. putting their hands yeah. over things because they like. And I was like, that I could have been, I could have been having a dream about artificial intelligence before all of it was even out here. Yeah. It, it, was, it, it was just crazy because I ain't because this dream happened to me in 2005. I just recently came across this clip on YouTube about a week ago. Right, so just right. seeing that to me, and now finally like. Having wow. a little bit of understanding right. about that dream, so called, almost twenty years later, right. it, it, it was crazy. It's crazy, to me. right? Let me ask two seventeen. Uh, watch this. Two and seventeen. This Acts two and seventeen, and it shall come to pass in the last days. These last days, right? Say if Yahweh, I will pour out. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and, you, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, and on my servants, and on my handsmaid maidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. I, I had I had that so-called wow. dream. At, at 21, I'm 39 now, I, and I just now got that little bit of understanding from that YouTube. Wow. 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 Right, wow. that vision. Right. And it's crazy that you had that at 21, and you've seen that being implemented today. Right. right, they're unlocking your car, you can unlock your house door, all with this chip in your hand. Right. Pay for all your groceries, right. your medical records on it. And you know what's crazy? This, I, this is just me speaking. You know, they got robot dogs and robots that's going to be patrolling. They already got it in New York City and all yeah. that, where they dropping them from the helicopter yeah. and they're going to be sending them against us so they don't have yeah. to pay officers and use set, yeah. risk their lives. Guess what? When they watch us, they read that chip and then your name pop up, yep. your address pop up, your whole identity pop up from them reading off of that chip. Sure. And if they don't and if you don't, if you don't got that chip, they, they can't read. Yeah, they, 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 they can't. Well, I seen the video where the uh, robotic person, it was like a, uh, a robotic person and it was a fake person it was a real person. Now, I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm just speculating that the person that was standing there had a chip, and when that didn't, he couldn't she, see him. He couldn't, couldn't see him. Yeah. You right? It's been in our movies, I our mean, TV shows, yeah, they all, all, they, all they, the time. They've been putting it in our face for years, yeah. grooming us. Did you yeah. see that? They cloned Tyrone? Yo. Sure, sure did. They put that in. You see what they do? They put it on our foods and all. That's all real shit, it's man. Real shit. They got us waking up to the same shit every day. Yeah, they got okay. us going to work. Got they, us. They, they know they can put it in our face because they see how we living yeah. in America. Yeah. They know they can put it in our face. So then when it comes, we just conditioned to it. Now it's just, right. it's a regular thing. I, I've been, it's been in my mind for years. So now when it comes to bed. It's only where the people win the truth to live. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. They got hail dropping. That's the size of. Of, of baseballs up in Michigan, right. right? They had a landslide in 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 Russia yesterday. They killed eleven people. All praise to the oh, Most High, right. right? Then they had they got these fires over here, starting all over the U.S., man. Right? These are all spirits of vengeance, man. Of the, the Most High. Out. What, did they find them? 
Finally UFOs. Yeah. They said the Vatican is hiding secrets of the UFOs. How they know about the UFOs, man? Right. And then when they say when they say about the UFOs, they can go back to Ezekiel one. Go to it's all biblical. This is a chariot to the most high, man. Right. They coming to get up. They coming to get us out of this destruction, man. Yeah, I mean, when this World War Three come, everybody got a place to go. The white man, the East Indian, the Chinese, they all going back to their country. But you Negroes and Latinos, y'all stuck here, man. When them missiles start dropping here. And these missiles gonna come, King. I mean, this big bad bully man gonna get taken care of. Right. right? And we're gonna need a savior, man. We're gonna need somebody to save us. And it's all prophesied that this thing gonna come. Now this will be arrows with fuel of fire coming over here. Getting shot from the ends of the earth and these arrows ain't going to miss, man. Right! And guess what? At that time, he's going to pick us up. Because we got to endure to the end. Even when right. we see, even when we seeing this destruction coming right here, man. We still got to give all praise to the Most High. Right! I mean, even if we ain't chosen. Right. Lord willing that the elect is woken, man. Right! We got to pray for the elect even if we ain't it. Right! You know what I mean? Right. Let me get, let me get Matthew 24 and 12. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right? The love of many. What's up, King? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, always around, man. Yeah, bro, we yeah, showing yeah, love yeah. all the time, man. What's up with you, King? All oh, praise to the most high. I love you, bro, man. You safe, all right? All right, bro. Yeah, well, listen. I'm going to leave the river shit. I don't love this shit out here. I know you always come through. You chill as long as you can. Sundays two to two to like four or five. Um, Thursdays. Thursday too, but, but the most high brought me down here. Right? You got flyers? You got more flyers? Give me one. Call me anytime, bro. If you want to know where we at, you know what I mean? Hit me up. Be like, yo, where y'all yeah. at today? Yeah. You know what I mean? There, there's a camp every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We somewhere. Out here in Sunday City. I, I love you, King. Yeah. All praise to the most high. Yeah. Go ahead. Matthew 24 and 12. Okay. It's Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Right, because sin is abound and the love of many sh shall wax cold. That's why they're shooting 50 shots on your block and your seven-year-old daughter getting hit on her bike. Right? It's because of our disobedience to God. But uh, we, o we, o we obey the white man, though. We obey America's laws, but we disobey God's laws. Right. So the Most High God is taking your children, man. Right. This is what the Most High God doing to us. And we think it's a, we think it's a joke, man. Everybody think this is a joke. They think that this is some bullshit until it hits home. Right. When they hit home, when it's your child coughing out blood, saying, Mommy, help me, and ain't nothing you could do. Yep. Too much in they feel. It ain't their emotions, man. And the most I ain't dealing with emotions. Right. Yeah, I mean, you got America and this Western philosophy thinking, yeah, you know I mean, you gotta you gotta tend to their feelings. Yeah, you know I mean, the most I don't care, man. He said if your daughter, right, if I gave my daughter to her to a to a man and her blood isn't on that white sheet, that token isn't on that sheet. We got to bring my daughter back to my crib and stone her, man. Wow. And guess what? That's righteousness, man. Right. You know what I mean? If my, if you, he said, if, if your child strikes your mother or your father, you got to get put to death, man. Right. See, our children need to know how to be risen up, man. Right. Because if you go out here punching on somebody's kid, somebody's father might come and put your child right. to death, man. Right. Right? God ain't no different, man. And our people think this is some, some spooky thing. This is real shit that we live in, man. Right. Right? Let me get second, second, second. Second Timothy two and three. Thou therefore endure hardness. Right, we gotta endure this hardness, this hard life that we give, that we've been given, man. Because we got a whole life of sin. I'm 33 years old. I've been sinning. I only been in this truth for going on three years. I got nothing. I was born wearing mixed fabrics. I was born breaking the Sabbath. You know what I mean? So I gotta balance this thing out. We gotta balance this thing with this little bit of time that we got left, man. You know what I mean? So we gotta endure this hardness like what? As a good soldier of Jesus Christ. As the good soldier, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. I mean, that's what he called us to be. He ain't right. calling the Christian church, man. We ain't asking for dress shoes and a suit and a tie. No, he said, he, he we don't be out here in 100% in clothing with some fringes on, right? And Christ said, go get a sword, man. That's what Christ said, man. He said, go get a sword. He said, we got two of them. He said, that's enough. And then when he walked with Peter over there, Peter let off a shot and cut more ear off, man. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I was shy, like, hold on, let me hear you real quick. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I got you, man. Yeah, I mean, you should have never went there for him. Yeah, I mean, but that's what's going to come. He said, my, he said, the Israelites are going to bring vengeance upon these people, man. Right. Let me get Psalms 149 from the top. 
the Psalms 149. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Right, this new song is this new covenant, man. And we coming into this, we rehearsing these righteous acts. I mean, we got to rehearse these things because we can't do it perfectly. You know I mean, they got everything in our food, everything abominable. It's hard to catch everything. You know what I mean? It's these Satan devices all around us. You know what I mean? So we're going to fall seven times. Instead of righteous man falling seven times, but we got to get back up and go back ten times harder from when we fell. Right? Keep going. In his praise, in the congregation of the saints. Right? And we praise, man. We praise the Most High. And every every black, Hispanic, and Native Indian that's keeping these law, statutes, and commandments and striving to be righteous, man, we the saints of the Most High, man. Right? Keep going. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Right? Let the children of Zion be joyful in their kings. And this is the new covenant. This is this when they're going to be joyful. Right, keep going. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with with the timbrel heart. Uh -huh. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. The Lord take pe pleasure in his people. It ain't say the Lord take pleasure in all people, man. The Lord take pleasure in his people. And we see the saints and the Israelites being the saints of the Most High, man. He take a pleasure in us. Right, keep going. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Right, he gonna beautify these humble, man. I mean, we got to remain humble. We got to look at them. They can spit, they can laugh, and they can mock the messages of the Lord. I mean, we got to remain humble, man, because that time coming, they running out of time out here, man. Satan got a short time left, right? Keep going. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. With what? Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. They're going to be on their bed with the high praises of the most high in their mouth. With a two-edged sword in their hand to do what? To execute vengeance. To, exe up, to execute vengeance upon who? Upon the heathen. And the Most High said the saints of the Most High are going to be dancing on their bed with a two-edged sword to execute vengeance on these heathen. Keep going. And punishment upon the people. Punishment upon these sinners, man. A punishment you know? upon all these people, man. That's what the Bible teaches, man. The Bible said we was going to go in slavery on slave ships, and we went to slavery on slave ships. And he said these curses going to be upon our enemies. So, right. So... Hunter's name is going to be Tyrone, man. We're right. going to change his name, man. He going to live in the ghetto. He going to be on Section 8 and welfare, man. That's what's coming to the European Caucasians, man. Everything they did yeah. to us, we're going to give to y'all double, man. Right. So that's what y'all got to look forward to, man. Keep going. To bond their kings with change. We're going to bond their kings and change. Your Joe Biden and your Donald Trump, right? Yeah, yeah. Saudi Arabian kings and your East Indian kings gonna be bound in chains according to this holy Bible. Right. You ain't gonna believe the Bible after the day. Right, keep going. And they're nobles with fetters of iron. Right, they nobles with fetters of iron. Your children too, keep going. To execute upon them the judgment written. Right, there's gonna be a judgment written and the Israelites, the saints of the Most High, is gonna execute this punishment with a sword. With a sword, two-edged sword to execute this. Keep going. This honor have all his saints. This honor have all his saints, man. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord, man. Y'all better turn back to the most high. You're going to have a straight bullet hitting your kids, man. It's happening every day. There's 500 homicides in, our, in Philly dealing predominantly with our people. That's 500 men, man. 500 men and women of our people that's dying. And y'all think y'all going to escape it? Right? You think you're going to escape it this year, but what about next year? Right? What about the year after that, man? Right? We... Our men are filling up the prison houses. Our men are filling up these grave sites. And our men are filling up this LGBTQ community, man. It's going we're going to be like gold in these last days. Right. We're going to be hard to find like gold, man. And we're going to have a protection of the most high. So all your women is going to be cleaving onto us according to this Bible. Right. Man. Right. These women going to need a men to lead them, man. So y'all better gird up your loins like some men, man. Right. Because y'all going to end up dead and your women going to be looking for a new man, a righteous man. Bring that out. Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. No, we're going to ask for the kingdom. Take the kingdom. No, we're going to beg them for it. Take the kingdom. No, we're going to take the kingdom, man. We take, they look like with a two-edged sword, man. Chopping off some Edomite babies, man. Right. Go ahead. And possess the kingdom for what? forever, right. even ever, and ever. Let me get Psalms 137 and 7, man. Let's show them what's coming to this earth, man. See, our people don't want to read this Bible. They say don't bring this part of the Bible out, man. But we bring out everything that they don't want to hear, man. Right. right let's see what's going to happen to these European Caucasians. Bring that out. It's Psalms 137 and 7. Bring it Re Remember, O oh Lord, 
The children of Edom. It said, remember the children of Edom. And y'all are the children of Edom, man. You are an Edomite. And we remember everything you did. Bring it up. It says, remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. Right, it ain't say forget. It said, remember these children of Edom. Go ahead. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it. Because right, these Edomites are the same people that destroyed the temple in 70 AD. And they're the same people that is oppressing us today. Keep going. Even to the foundation thereof. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Oh, daughter of Babylon. That's America. This ain't dealing with ancient Babylon. This is another Babylon. Right? It said, oh, daughter of Babylon. The Edomites had nothing to do with ancient Babylon. It was the Persians and Medes. Where right? did these Edomites come from? That's because this is Babylon, man. Keep going. Who are to be destroyed. Oh, America's going to be destroyed, man, according to the Most High God. Keep going. Happy shall he be. Happy shall the saints be that do what? That reward of thee. As thou hast served us. Right, just like how y'all list us, man, we're going to reward you the same way. Just like how y'all carry, y'all tied us to the back of the horse and rode through the city, we're going to ride with your children through the right. city. They're going to get sold on Black Friday. We're going to be rolling dice for your kids, man. Right. Have happy shall he be. Happy shall he be that what? That taketh and dash thy little ones. That happy, that taketh thy little ones and dash if thy little ones where? Against. Stone! We're going to dash thy little ones against stones, man. Little Leslie getting stashed on the stone, man. Right. Little Timmy getting dashed on the stone, man. Right. Bring it out. Right. All praise to the Most High, man. We bring out the truth about this Bible. We ain't no Christian church over here. Right. right. Let me show you where the Christians at. Let me go to Acts 11 and 26. Let me show you where these Christians started from, man. I'm going to show you who the real Christians are. Woo These wanna be Christians out here. Bring it man. out. Y'all don't follow Christ. Y'all don't know this Bible, man. We know the truth about our God, man. And ain't nothing that you imagine. It's everything that's in your nightmares. Right. Bring it out. It's Acts 11 and 26. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that the whole year they assembled themselves with the church. Right? The church at Antioch, keep going. And taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians right. first the disciples, in Antioch. The disciples in Antioch were called Christians. Now go to Acts 13 and 1. Let's see what this church in Antioch was. It's Acts 13 and 1. Now up. they were in the church that was at Antioch. Right, where the certain, Christians were. Keep going. Certain prophets and teachers. Teachers and prophets that were teaching at the church at Antioch. Who was they called? As Barnabas and Simeon. Just like Barnabas and Simeon. Simeon, what was they called? That was called nigga. What was they called? Nigga. Right, what's the etymology of nigga, man? That means black. The a black, black man. Right. If you go into the strongest definition, that's a Christian, man. Right, these white Christian pastors ain't teaching you nothing but lies, man. Let me get Psalms 140. 147, 19 and 20. Right, we come out here to bring the truth about this Bible, man. They've been filling y'all with lies, man, since they put yokes of iron on y'all neck, man. They call you black, and she called herself white. Black means evil and void of light. White means pure, holy, and good. How convenient. Right. The white man is the most profane person on this right. earth. The white man has sex with his sister, man. The white man has sex with chickens and donkeys and goats, man. Right, they're the most profane person, but they call themselves holy, pure, and good. And they call our people evil and void of light. Yes, 